Assalamualaikum and good greetings. So today we'll be watching a video by Vlad and Yughan titled Bobby Perspective Became Muslim exclamation mark congrats exclamation mark. It should be Bobby's perspective right not Bobby perspective but anyway um, I haven't watched a lot from this channel except for two times I think before when they started to react to Islamic videos and I think they have done afterwards um, quite a number of Islamic videos reaction because you know I think that tend to, to happen for any YouTubers that do reaction and then they have an influx of traffic and yeah that what is what happened but of course I'm not judging or evaluating or saying anything about anyone's intention here uh, and many of those who actually eventually becoming Muslim started off just by watching videos so hopefully they will be there we have watched uh, previously in the previous video Bobby's perspectives Shahada so hopefully one day it will be this guy's turn of course that's my hope without further ado let's watch all right guys how's it going today we're going to be watching Bobby perspectives Shahada and uh, this is kind of a big thing because he's the guy that we've gotten a lot of ideas from not necessarily you know copying his videos but when he reacts to a lot of content we get inspired by that and you know he's a big inspiration for us yeah but this is actually super cool to see you know he's been through, like on this journey for like I think about a year now because we've been seeing through his videos and you know he's finally got in his Shahada which is really cool to see and I was reading some of the comments from earlier on the video try my best not to watch most of the video uh, but I did see the first part. But yeah, the comments are really supportive and it's nice to see everybody kind of supporting him. Yeah, so it's finally becoming official. Yeah, it's, it's kind of sick. But uh, we're also not only going to see him get a shot, but we're going to learn like what like what do they say? What are the words? You know what I mean? Like what are what are yeah. they actually like? What's the, um, I guess, ritual? I don't know if ritual is the right word. That might be a bit, I don't know what the word is, but like peasantry or whatever, like not really religious. But um, yeah, we're going to see what the words are in a shot. So let's get into it. Alhamdulillah. Oh, I know this guy too. I've seen him somewhere. Where is he? This guy's really popular Muslim. I've seen him too. He gets the honors. <laughs> he gets the honors. You know, before we do the shahada, I just want to say every time, including right now, that I've ever done a shahada of anybody, I've got Okay, if you have watched the previous video, we have watched this already. Right now, I'm just watching the reaction of these two guys. You know, uh, it's not about how many you do about each individual because life has a purpose and the purpose of life is to first and foremost recognize your creator and then to worship him. The day you do your shahada is the day you come back to your purpose. It's more important than the day you were born, it's more important than the day you get married, it's more important than the day you, if somebody becomes a billionaire that money will end in this world but the guidance that you accept in the shahada and the live life and live from it will benefit you not just in this world but in the grave and the hereafter yeah that's that's big facts man that like i guess from a muslim's perspective it's like you know if you believe in allah it's like none of this real worldly stuff matters <coughs> so yeah. shahad is more important than any of this stuff it's more important than your wedding it's more important than making a billion dollars it's more important than anything because it's you're becoming a muslim which is the most important thing on the planet yeah, from this, their perspective this life is not even a fraction of the afterlife right yeah well it's from like that not perspective even zero right? point infinite zero one percent so if you if you're exactly. a muslim or you believe in the Islamic faith, it's like it makes a lot of sense that this would be like a big, big, big moment. Yeah. Like I feel like if you like if I can't imagine like believing in Islam and then you know once believing in it actually becoming it because like think about, think about it from somebody who doesn't believe in Islam it's kind of like okay whatever whatever it's not really a big deal but if you actually believe in it it's a massive deal man yeah Huge. can you imagine if you were like Muslim for a long time and then you're like nah and then you quit and then you died and it happened to be real yeah that'd be and then real. you guess <laughs> and then you're just like oh yeah. shit I don't know but like can you ever <laughs> leave the Islamic faith all Muslims get it yeah is this undoable <laughs> I think it's undoable, probably. You can just probably lead the fate or be a bad Muslim. I'm not too sure. Maybe you guys can let us know in the comments. Can you be? <laughs> there are many that actually do that, right? Um, now, the, because, of course, his question, to be fair, comes from a place where uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that they do not even believe in God or a creator yet. And hence, uh, religion is just something that they observe and they learn about. It's not about the searching which religion is true from God after believing in God, right? So, yeah, all of those 
question is understandable from that perspective. Uh, yeah, and of course the question about can they leave, etc. If you already because if you accept it as a culture or just a belief that you choose, then that question makes sense. But if you already come to a place where this is this is the truth, this is from God, the Creator that you already believe in, so leaving the truth have a different, you know. Um, it's not just living something, it's living the truth, it's living truly the teaching from God. So, yeah. Leave the Islamic faith. So, we're ready for this? More than ready. It has been a long time coming. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allah. Arabic first or English first? I'll do the Arabic first. I like it. Brave. I'll try. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. An. An. La. La. Ilaha. Ilaha. He's a Muslim. Just like that? That's great. That's yeah, that's it. That's big. <laughs> Just like that, yeah. The sometimes the simplicity of it seems odd for certain people from certain background because it is more elaborate from a certain belief system or a certain religion, right? Are they going to do an English version? Yeah, they said English or Arabic first. So hopefully, okay. we'll, we'll get to know what all that means. Yeah, let's do so, what that means. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> you guys don't know what we said. That was it. This part of the minute, that's where you <laughs> go learn Arabic, five. man. Yeah, maybe that that was their Arabic, learn Arabic promo. Yeah. It's like you ain't going to know until you learn Arabic. Yeah, that is, uh, that, that's cool, man. So, look at me, smile, huh? Allah, Allah, no, as witnesses in front of you, Allah is your witness. Congrats, bro. I bear witness. I bear witness. It is none worthy of worship. It is none worthy of worship. Except Allah. Except Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That Muhammad. That Muhammad. Is his servant. Is his servant. And his messenger. And his messenger. Allah Akbar. Okay. That's what that means. Nice. Well done, man. Let's see the comments. Let's see the comments. Welcome to Islam, brother. As a citizen, oh my gosh, what? I can't express how happy I am for you, buddy. Allah has guided you because you deserve guidance. Allah loves you. May Allah keep you on a straight path. I have heard, though, the reason why Muslims love to see other people convert is not only that they get into Jannah, but apparently in the Quran, I don't know if this is true, but apparently you, um, if you can convert someone to uh, Islam, you get into Jannah. Oh, shit, look, this is Ukrainian or... But yeah, man, this is like a sick thing to see. Shout out to Bobby's perspective. Congrats. Congrats, bro. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's all we got to say on this. More videos to come. Enjoy. Okay, yeah, that's it. Um, you know, that's their uh, reaction. And hopefully one day, um, you know, when they learn a lot more. Uh, of course, it is interesting because these guys are, I think, more of a free thinker, right? All of the revert that I have watched in YouTube, tend to be coming from Christian background. They already believe in God and they see something that they that doesn't sit right for them in Christianity. Hence, they are searching elsewhere and they find Islam, you know, um, that meet their requirement, expectation, etc. And they make that move, right? I have never yet, I think, I never have yet seen someone from a free thinker because they have a, a, a bigger... Uh, you know, resistant or stumbling block that I have to overcome first, which is truly believe in God, because for Christianity they already believe in God. They have something that you know, it, you know, they they really believe in God. They already pray to God. They want to guidance from God. It's just that which religion is truly from God. But for free thinker, even God itself is 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 a concept that they think is you know created or something yet right so it's quite interesting to see the journey of those who are not from christianity but do not really believe in god to become eventually a muslim uh, especially in the era of youtube is there is there anyone that you know that have gone through that journey before interested to know and hopefully these guys will be among those in the future inshallah well that's it for today thank you for watching see you next time